Well, angelfish, the solution to your problem is simple. The only way to get what you want is to become a human yourself. Can you do that? <laughs> My dear sweet child, that's what I do. It's what I live for, to help unfortunate merfolk like yourself. Poor souls with no one else to turn to. I admit that in the past I've been a nasty. They weren't kidding when they called me, well, a witch. But you'll find that nowadays I've mended all my ways, repented, seen the light, and made a switch. True, yes. And I fortunately know a little magic. It's a talent that I always have possessed. And here lately, please don't laugh, I use it on behalf of the miserable, lonely, and depressed. Poor unfortunate soul, in pain, in need. This one longing to be thinner, that one wants to get the girl, and do I help them? Yes, indeed. Those poor unfortunate souls, so sad, so true. They come flocking to my cauldron, crying spells, Ursula, please, and I help them. Yes, I do. Now it's happened once or twice. Someone couldn't pay the price, and I'm afraid I had to rake them across the coals. Yes, I've had beyond complaint, but on the whole, I've been a saint. To those poor unfortunate souls! Now, here's the deal. I will make you a potion that will turn you into a human for three days. Got that? Three days. Now listen. This is important. Before the sun sets on the third day, you must get dear old Princey to fall in love with you. Specifically, he's got to kiss you. Not just any kiss. The kiss of true love. If he does kiss you before the sun sets on the third day, you will remain human permanently. But if he doesn't, well, you turn back into a mermaid, of course, and <coughs> you belong to me. Have we got a deal? If I become human, I'll never be with my father or sisters again. That's right. But you'll have your man. <laughs> Life's full of tough choices, isn't it? Come on, I know you need a little magic. And magic is my specialty du jour. Don't just stand there looking sick. Would I kid you play a trick? Look, I told you I don't do that anymore. So I think you ought to take my little bargain. Yes, I think we ought to make a little deal. Sure, it's hard to leave your life, but you could be a prince's wife. Why don't you let me take that dream and make it real? Come on, you poor unfortunate soul. Poor child, poor fish. Aren't you glad you brought your problems to a person you can trust? Won't you let me grant your wish? You poor unfortunate soul. Poor sweet. Poor dear. Aren't you lucky that I'm ready with a potion and a plan? Aren't you glad you came and asked if I can help you? And I can. When the mermaid comes to Ursula, she always gets her man. You poor unfortunate soul. <laughs> oh, and there is one more thing. We haven't discussed the subject of payment. But I don't have I'm not asking much, just a token, really a trifle, you won't even miss it. Just give me your voice. But without my voice, how can I... You'll have your looks, your pretty face. And never underestimate the importance of body language. <laughs> the men up there don't like a lot of blabber. They think a girl who gossips is a bore. Yes, on land it's much preferred for ladies not to say a word. And after all, dear, what is idle prattle for? Come on, they're not all that impressed with conversation. True gentlemen avoid it when they can. But they don't and soon and fawn on a lady who's withdrawn. It's she who holds a tongue who gets her man. Come on, you poor unfortunate.
fortunate soul. Go ahead, make your choice. I'm a very busy person and I haven't got all day. It won't cost much. Just your voice, your poor unfortunate soul. It's sad, but true. If you want to cross a bridge, my sweet, you've got to pay the toll. Take a go, but take a breath, and go ahead and sign that scroll. Flat some jets, and now I've got her, boys. The boss is on a roll! This poor, unfortunate soul! <laughs>